right, so we're going to talk about pull-ups a little bit today. Stay away from pull-ups, um, how we can make our pull-ups better, and how we can avoid some shoulder injuries that we've seen in the past with um, scaling that was a little bit dangerous or maybe ahead of your ability level. So let's first take a look at a classic strict pull-up. He's going to have palms away in the, in the pronated position, do some pull-ups. Okay, this is a really good movement. This is what pull-ups should be. Okay, if you don't have strict pull-ups, excellent, come on down. If you don't have strict pull-ups, if you don't have kipping pull-ups, you have to walk before you run. Strict pull-ups are the walking. We could also do some pull-ups supinated, so as those are palms towards you, and these are called chin-ups typically. These are also a great movement to work on before you ever start kipping. Obviously, come on down. We have some kipping pull-ups, and I'm going to have Dean show both a butterfly kip and a traditional kip, just so you guys know what they are. Now I want you to pay attention to the range of motion and the stress that his shoulder is going to be under. Go ahead and a few butterflies. So these will be butterfly pull-ups, nice and efficient, good range of motion, it takes quite a bit of energy, and then let's see a few traditional kips, Dean. Now we switch to the traditional kip, and you can see the stress the shoulder is under. Go ahead and come on down. So Dean's got, Dean's got strict pull-ups, and, and if you can see his shoulder and his chest muscles and his arm muscles here, he's got a good musculature around the shoulder girdle to help keep him safe when he's in that forward and back position. What we worry about is people kipping that don't have that, that musculature in place. So how do we develop that? Well, our favorite way is to do is ring rows. So if we get Dean on ring rows, and we know Dean is strong, we'll come around the side here. We know Dean is strong, so he's going to have his feet all the way in towards the wall. This is still a little bit difficult movement. Core stability is in play, full range of motion. Go ahead. And Dean can tell you that's a difficult movement. That's not where we start ring rows, though. Let's kick it all the way back. We can start ring rows all the way back here, and I can get anybody on the planet doing ring rows if we can move our feet out far enough. So I just slowly move my feet in just a bit at a time, and this may be over months or over, over weeks. And eventually, when my feet are all the way back to the wall, then you're going to be able to jump on that bar and do some strict pull-ups. And once we're there, we can start learning how to kick. So let's talk about some things that might not be appropriate for a wad, but you might use in your off time to do some auxiliary training on your pull-ups. We can go to a jumping pull-up. Dean's going to hit a few reps here. And these are a good movement outside of a wad. Um, the thing to keep in mind is that you're always letting gravity pull you down. You don't want to fight the down. He's going to do this. Okay? And that's the last one he's going to do like that. We're never, never going to fight the down on a jumping pull-up. One of the more dangerous things you can do in the gym. So really avoid that. Alright? The other thing we can look at is climbing into the bands. Okay? This used to be our de facto scaling method for pull-ups. And it's not anymore. So, I always like to, to talk out loud. Hold on one second, Dean. I like to talk out loud and, and, and see if it still sounds like a good idea. Now let's assume Dean can't do pull-ups, and that's why he's on his band. So I'm going to take an athlete who's not comfortable on a pull-up bar and can't pull themselves up. I'm going to elevate him off the floor, put him in a, a high power band, and have him try that movement anyway. It really isn't the best idea. So Dean, climb on in here. We've all struggled with the bands before, right? They're not necessarily the easiest things to get into. Okay, you can snap us up. Dean can turn into a soup sandwich pretty quick if he's not comfortable or if he's not ready to get in there. All joking, all joking aside, we're going to try to get into this band in a nice, nice safe band. Even if that, that means I'm going to squash Dean, I'm going to help him get his foot in here. He drives his leg down and keeps it straight. He might cross this other leg in the front to keep him. A lot of more stability being used here, and he can practice strict pull-ups as well. Excellent. Go ahead and come off the band. Slowly let the foot up, and your partner can help you pull out of it. Okay, this is excellent for volume training. Um, if you're not sure what volume training is, just Google volume training CrossFit. Fantastic journal article on it. Last thing we're going to talk about, believe it or not, I'm going to say a word that in a lot of CrossFit circles is, uh, is not something to hear. Bicep curls. Okay? So I'm going to have Dean do some classic bicep curls. I wish he had a sleeveless shirt off on for this, but he doesn't. But the bicep is a really important muscle to the pull-up. So hitting some, pull some bicep curls once a week or so will actually go a long way of getting you that strength for a strict pull-up. So 
Not something you need to do all the time, but if pull-ups are one of your main priorities, go ahead and do it. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm just gonna let Dean do a few more bicep curls, and uh, we'll talk to you guys some other time.